Now, we've been talking to you the last couple of days about Mark chapter 4, where Jesus said, let us pass over to the other side. So the storm hadn't, didn't have anything to do with it. In fact, let me go back to another one. When Jesus told Peter to come out of the water, Peter stepped out of the boat onto the word to come to me out of the water. And the winds and the waves didn't have anything to do with, with Peter walking on the water. It's when he considered them. So get your eyes back on the word. Don't talk about the problem. Talk to the problem. And then the storm ceased when Jesus talked about it. Yes, when they came to him, they said, Lord, don't you care that we perish? I mean, the boat was filling up with water. Jesus was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. And, but he stood up and he spoke to the storm. Say that again. He spoke to to the storm, storm not about, about the, the storm. storm he didn't say oh look at how big this storm is no he spoke to the storm do you have any storms in your life speak, speak to, to the, the storm. storm and what he said was peace be still and it says and the wind ceased and there immediately there was a great calm let me help you on that he said what Peace, Peace, be still. Be still. He didn't talk about how bad it was. He called, help me, for something for that, that was, was not. not. There was a storm. He called for peace. So if there's a storm in your life, you call for peace. Speak peace. He says that he creates the fruit of our lips saying peace, peace to him that's far off and to him that is near. So you speak peace into your life. Don't speak more storms into your life because what you're saying is what you're gonna have. And many times it's so tempting to want to talk about the storm, but if you want your circumstances to line up with the word of God, then you're gonna have to do it the way God says to do it, and that is to call for the thing that is not, and then it will come into your life. He called for peace, and immediately there was great peace. Well, you call for peace in your finances, you call for peace in your marriage, you call for peace with your children, and there will immediately be a great, great peace. peace. Have a great day. Until we're with you tomorrow, remember that Jesus is Lord, and thank God the, the Word, word works. works.